So recently, there have been a ton of Resident Evil leaks, and it seems like every other day, the game keeps getting leaked. But there is one leak that has been going around that has really been making fans really upset, and that is the potential rumor of Krauser being cut from the remake. Now, Krauser is a beloved character by a lot of fans, but today, I want to talk about why I don't think Krauser needs to necessarily be in the remake. Yes, I do think he is an important character, but I don't think he's important enough to be in the remake, and here's why. After you're done watching, thumbs up the video if you agree with me, but with that being said, let's get into it. Now remember, leaks are not confirmed, but they are also not entirely fake, as some leaks do end up becoming true. So for the sake of this video, let's just assume the leak about Krauser being cut is a possibility. So people have posed the question, if Krauser isn't in the remake, then who is going to be the character that ends up kidnapping Ashley? And if you ask me, I think literally any other character can be the one that kidnaps Ashley. It doesn't need to be Krauser. In terms of the original Resident Evil 4, Krauser kidnapping Ashley is an important set piece. But if you take out Krauser from the game, you could literally have any other character be the one that kidnaps her. You could have Sadler do it in the remake. I mean, you can literally have any other character be the one that takes Krauser's place. Now, the reason why I say this is because if you really think about it, in the original Resident Evil 4, I feel like they didn't do a good job of setting up Krauser to be a villain at the beginning of the game. Because Krauser doesn't show up until later in the game, and he kind of just pops up out of nowhere. We do get a couple of cutscenes prior, but for the most part, he kind of just shows up. And I feel like if Capcom took the time to make Krauser a fleshed out villain from start to finish, then it would have made sense. At the beginning of RE4, the villain is pretty much a mystery, and you really don't know the villain until you get to the church where you save Ashley. So you might be asking, well, what about Darkseid Chronicles? Isn't that canon? So for those that don't really know what Operation Javier is, well, let me just give you a brief explanation. Explanation. Why? I just can't say that word. So Operation Javier is a scenario featured in Darkseid Chronicles that details Leon S. Kennedy's and Jack Krauser's mission to apprehend notorious drug lord Javier Hildago. It occurs in South America during the year 2002, which if I'm not mistaken, happens three years before RE4 happens. So Darkseid Chronicles is very important to the canon because that is where Leon and Krauser were basically partners on a mission. But in RE4, they're essentially villains to one another. And I've seen a lot of people say that if Krauser isn't in RE4, well, the remake, then that makes the Darkseid Chronicles game not canon, which is not true. If Darkseid Chronicles happened before RE4, then that doesn't mean Krauser needs to be in RE4. Now, the only reason why this wouldn't make sense is because Krauser dies in the original game. And one thing that Capcom is trying to do with these remakes is they're not changing the canon, they're just changing how things are done. For example, you remember Brad in RE3? In the original, he dies, but he dies to Nemesis. And in the remake, his canon isn't changed. Brad still dies, but this time he is bitten and turns into a zombie, but he still dies. So I feel like in the remake, I do think Krauser is going to be in the game. I do think the leaks about him not being in the remake are not true. And Krauser mostly shows up during the island section of the game. So that poses the next question. How do we fix the island section of the game in the remake? Okay, so leave a comment below if you agree with me on this, but I think Krauser ruins the entire tone of Resident Evil 4. Yes, I like Krauser as a character. I love his boss fight. I love all of the cutscenes that he's in. But when it comes to the actual tone of Resident Evil 4, I feel like Krauser just doesn't really fit in. Resident Evil 4 is a horror game with action elements, but I feel like once you get to the island section, the game just completely ramps up the action. And that is partially thanks to Krauser. See, Krauser as a character adds a lot of charm to the game, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to the actual story itself, I don't think he's important enough to really be in the game. Now granted, if he's not in the main campaign, I think he should still get a side DLC story, but Krauser is horribly set up as a villain, and people that played RE4 for the first time had no idea who Krauser was. And that's why one of my most controversial opinions about RE4 is Krauser always felt like a side character to me. He never felt like he really fit 
into the story. He never really felt like he needed to be in the game. I really like Krauser as a character. Every time I replay RE4, I always look forward to playing his section, even though it's my least favorite section. So if Capcom is trying to remake one of the greatest video games of all time, and they're trying to take it in a more serious and more horror direction, I simply just cannot see Krauser fitting into the game. Especially with the leaks that the game is going to have a ton of new enemies and more boss fights. I just feel like Krauser is just going to make the game way too bloated. But those are my opinions, and now I want to hear yours. Anyway, like and subscribe, and peace out, y'all.